Hi, this is another Clever Fingers activity. And remember, the reason why we're doing all these Clever Fingers activities is to strengthen our muscles in our fingers, hands and arms, which is going to help us with holding pencils, holding crayons, holding objects and writing tools, mark making tools that will help us when we're doing our writing. So this is all you will need some pasta i've colored mine red and colored some green and it needs to be pasta that's got a big hole because we're going to do some threading but what we can do is we can use the ribbon tie a knot on the end and we can go like this and all you do is push it through but you're actually using both sets of fingers and thumb because you're holding on to the pasta there so you're squeezing and using those muscles there and then you're holding on to the ribbon so you're using those muscles there on that hand as well and then when you push it through pull it at the other end and I'm going to make a pattern so I've got green and I've got oh red and take your time because it will take some time to do a really good job so we've got green red what color will i need next green that's right what will i need after green you tell me tell your grown-up green red green oh red keep going green so this is really good because it's a clever fingers activity and it's a maths activity because what you're doing is you're making a pattern and if you wanted you could make a pattern with pasta that's been colored in using three colors so you could do red green and say blue if you wanted and then you have a pattern that's from three parts so we've got green red green red green red green and then what you can do is you can tie it and make it into a necklace or a nice bracelet or you can have a go at counting how many pieces of pasta that you have used so far one two three four five six seven and if you added one more what color would it need to be green red green red green red green so it would be red and one more piece of pasta would make one two three four five six seven and one more makes eight so that's exciting